Good morning. I'm Lays, Amy Lays, and you're viewing the Cellular News Network. Thank you for joining us on this special live airing of the Republic of Jason Matthew 2012-2013 budget presentation. We have just been informed that the Parliament is about to be called a session where the ruling GLY, the Glycolysis Party, and the opposition GLU, Gluconeogenesis Party, are about to address growing concerns about the country's state of fasting as well as depleting revenue from country and the CBC, the Central Bank of Cofactors. We now take you straight to the Parliament for the commencement of the budget presentation and debate. Parliament is now called to session for the presentation of the 2012-2013 budget. Good day, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to voice my concerns on the current state of the country. As we all know, the country has recently gone into a state of fasting, and my colleagues and I have formulated a pathway that we believe will help alleviate the decline of in blood glucose levels, as well as decreasing sources of revenue, such as the ATP reserves and the central bank of cofactors. My colleagues, phosphofructokinase, pyruvic kinase, and I are especially committed to our party's pathway and we believe that this is the only option for sustaining the country at all times. We propose that our party's pathway be employed in order to yield four ATP mo molecules as well as two molecules of pyruvate by initially investing two ATP molecules from the country's reserves. We plan to begin by phosphorylating a glucose molecule. Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask the Honorable Minister Exokinase, what is the basis for this proposed phosphorylation? Well, Mr. Speaker, by using my abilities to transfer the phosphate group from one ATP molecule from the central bank of cofactors, the CBC, to the carbon-6 on one molecule of glucose, a molecule of glucose-6 phosphate will be generated. Glucose plus hexokinase plus ATP com is converted to ADP plus glucose-6 phosphate. After we produce the glucose-6 phosphate molecule, my colleague, Minister, Phosphoglucose isomerase will come with glucose 6-phosphate into its isomer fructose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate plus phosphoglucose isomerase produces fructose 6-phosphate. I now hand the floor over to my colleague, the Honorable Mr. Phosphofructokinase. Thank you, Minister Hexokinase. Mr. Speaker, Members of my party have all agreed that following the previous steps that were described, we should then invest another ATP molecule from the central bank of COPA, the CBC, in order to transfer a phosphate group to the carbon-1 of the fructose-6 phosphate previously produced by my colleagues to form fructose-1,6 biphosphate. The Honorable Minister Aldolaise will then split fructose 1 6 by phosphate into two ships. Well, maybe I won't have to question you so much if your plan so far made sense with the country as it is in its state of fasting. Oh. Settle down! Settle down! This kind of conduct is not called for. Mr. Speaker, how can the GLU member just be allowed to disrespect my entire party? I was not trying to be disrespectful. I was merely stating the obvious. All day long, your party employs the same pathway to produce energy, and my colleagues and I acknowledge that normally works. However, right now, your plan makes no sense with regard to keeping the country's blood glucose levels steady in its state of fasting. What the hell are you getting at? Listen to me! I am the. <clears throat> I am the speaker of this House of Enzyme Representatives, and you will listen to me. I said settle down and conduct yourself in a more becoming manner. <clears throat> Minister Foster Fructokinase, please continue with your presentation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I was saying, my colleague Minister Trios Phosphate Isomerase will then rapidly interconvert the molecules dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, where glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate will be removed as soon as it's formed to be used in the next step of glycolysis. These two steps will yield a net total of two 
was around a high pre-phosphate model. My colleague trials phosphate dihydrogenase, then serves two functions. First, administered TPDAs transfers a hydrogen from glyceraldehyde free phosphate to the oxidizing agent NAD plus to form NADH. The minister will then proceed to add a phosphate from the cytosol to the oxidized glyceraldehyde free phosphate to form one free by phosphoglycerate. We propose to do this for both molecules of the glyceraldehyde free phosphate produced in the previous step. The next step in our proposed pathway is to utilize the talents of the minister phosphoglycerokinase in order to transfer the phosphate to form one free biphosphoglycerate to a molecule of ADP to form ATP. This will be done for each of the two molecules of 1,3-biphosphoglycerate being used. The process will yield two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate and two ATP molecules. Minister of Phosphoglyceromutase will then relocate the phosphates in 3-phosphoglycerate from the third carbon to the second carbon of the 2-phosphoglycerate, which will then be used by minister enolase, where a molecule of water from 2-phosphoglycerate will be removed to form phosphophenopyruvic acid, PEP. We propose that this occurs for each of the two molecules of 2-phosphoglycerate. My colleague, the Honorable Pyruvate Kinase, will now elaborate on the final step in our proposed plan. Thank no. you, Minister Phosphofructokinase. Mr. Speaker, in our, final, in our final step of our pathway, we hope to transfer phosphate from PEP to ADP to form pyruvic acid and ATP. This reaction will occur for each of the two molecules of PEP being used, as well as yield two molecules of pyruvic acid and two ATP molecules. So, Mr. Speaker, as you can see from the reactions that my colleagues and I have explained, the initial investment of two ATP molecules from CDC can yield four ATP molecules, as well as two pyruvate molecules through our party's pathway, thus providing sufficient energy for the country. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues and I of the Blue Code Neogenesis Party are wondering exactly how the Glycolysis Party plans to carry out these processes with the country in its current state. Where are they going to get the resources from? The country is in a state of costing, and with no food coming in, how do you plan to achieve your energy goals without the necessary resources? I, pyruvate carboxylase, along with my two colleagues, glucose 6-phosphatase and fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase, are fully committed to the gluconeogenesis party, especially at this time when we believe we are needed most and propose that the glycolysis party's plan be altered to suit the country's current needs and prevent it from going into a state of hypoglycemia. Instead of utilizing the country's dwindling glucose supplies to provide pyruvate and ATP, we instead plan to generate glucose through the use of pyruvate via gluconeogenesis. But what kind of madness are you proposing? The plan can never be as energy efficient as our country's plan. Minister Speaker, I believe that the GRU party is proposing may very well be an attempt to funnel the country's resources into their party for their own personal use. It is common knowledge that their process requires more resources than ours. Before accusing my party of corruption, Look at the facts and look at yourself. The country has gone to a state of fasting. The resources you claim to have intentions to use are not available right now. Only some of your members have enough sense to take part in the process that will be most beneficial to the country at certain times. The others are so dead set in their ways that they are ignorant to the fact that our process is the only way to maintain the country's blood glucose levels and keep the country afloat right now. Who do you think you're calling ignorant? I called no names, Minister Hexokinase, but did you yourself not emphasize the fact that you, along with two of your ministers, were committed to glycolysis and see it as the only option at all times? My party members and I, though we are committed to gluconeogenesis, merely stated that we intend to act in the country's best interest, especially at this time of fasting. 
During times where regular intake of food occurs, we gladly concede to your methods because we do acknowledge that it would be more energetically feasible at that time and accept that we must remain inactive while your party works. However, we hope that after our presentation, you see gluconeogenesis as the more feasible process in this instance. I shudder to think what part you all could possibly be trying to employ. You shudder to think, Minister Hicks or Kanyanis? I shudder to think how an enzyme like yourself could ever think that glycolysis could take place with the recent developments in the liver. I, I, I don't know what you are talking about. Ah, but I think you do, Minister. My sources inform me that your party is well aware of the CAMP cascade that has occurred in the liver. With the country's blood glucose levels being so low, did you not think it's inevitable that a CAMP signal cascade would be triggered by glucagon? I am still unaware what you all are talking about. Mr. Speaker, it has come to my attention that there have been recent important developments in the liver. As I was informing Minister Hexokinase, the low blood glucose levels in the country have led to a CMP cascade in the liver triggered by glucagon. This has resulted in a decrease of fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase. As, and as we all know, glycolysis cannot take place if there is insufficient fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase to activate the Honorable Minister Phosphofructokinase. Mr. Speaker, fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase normally makes it impossible for gluconeogenesis to occur because it inhibits the actions of one of our key members, fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase. We, the members of GLU party, plan to use the gluconeogenesis pathway in order to produce glucose by investing pyruvate and ATP. Mr. Speaker, while my party does agree the GLY minister's actions are useful, we propose that ministers enolase, phosphoglyceromutase, phosphoglycerokinase, Trials phosphate dehydrogenase, trials phosphate isomerase, allolase, and phosphoglucoisomerase all take part in the reverse of the reactions outlined in the GLY party's proposal. When your plan sounds quite ambitious, Mr. Kovacsi, I'd like to hear more. What exactly do you mean by the reverse reaction? Well, Minister Inulis, we propose that in order to complete my party's pathway, you, along with the honorable ministers I previously listed, use the products of the reactions that Minister Hexokinia suggested you produce and instead convert them, using the relevant cofactors, of course, back into the molecules they were before. That is to say, you simply use your relevant products of glycolysis as the substrates in gluconeogenesis reactions. And the molecules which were once substrates in the glycolysis pathway will therefore become products of the gluconeogenesis pathway. This makes no sense at all. How do you propose to bypass the steps of Minister Hexokinase, Fossil Fructokinase, and I? We have already stated our commitment to glycolysis. We are well aware of your commitment, Ministers. That is why we propose instead of Minister Pyruvate Kinase utilizing two molecules of PEP to transfer a phosphate from PEP to ADP, yielding two molecules of pyruvic acid and two ATP molecules. I instead use two ATP molecules and work with the coenzyme biotin, which will carry activated bicarbonate in order to produce two ADP, two phosphate, and two molecules of oxalate, which will then be passed to my colleague, PEP carboxykinase. As was mentioned earlier, due to the recent CAMP cascade in the liver and the decrease in fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase, I am now activated. I propose that instead of reaction minister phosphofructokinase propose he catalyzed, I instead use a molecule of water and the fructose 1 6 bisphosphate that we hope minister Aldolase will produce from dehydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and produce fructose 6-phosphate and phosphate through the hydrolysis of fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase. 
The file of bypass reaction will then be in the hands of my colleague, Glucose 6 Phosphatase. Thank you, Mr. MVP is one. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Ministers, it is through my actions that we hope to bypass the reaction catalyzed by Minister Exokinase. I plan to utilize a molecule of water, Lord Jesus, in order to hydrolyze a glucose 6 phosphate produced to minister phosphoglucose summarizes actions, hallelujah, to produce glucose as well as the phosphate that was taken in the corresponding glycolysis step from a molecule of ATP, thus resulting in glucose that would be vital to the country in its current state, Jesus, in preventing going into a state of hypoglycemia. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, you see them saying way, but I don't I don't business like I got some cheese, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Minister. So Carry on. Mr. Speaker, from what we have just heard, we, the enzyme of the GLY party, agree with our GLU counterpart that due to the country's state of fasting, the GLU pathway would indeed be the country in the country's best interest and is therefore the most feasible process to maintain the country's blood glucose levels right now and prevent the state of hypoglycemia. We hereby agree to lend the abilities of our members and any others to the GLU party that may need to complete their part. Cut, cut, cut. You're what? My name is Khan. Your name is Khan? My name is Khan. Bang. 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 Alright, 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 let's get it. Trigger! Total!